Shetty. The number five seeds from India next. Well, it's a wonderfully balanced section of the men's doubles draw. In fact, the draw as a whole is wide open this week. And what have we got here? Gideon and Sukamolio have made their way through. Hoki and Kobayashi will play them tomorrow. And we'll look towards Ren and Tan. Who wait in the next round to play the winner of this one. Safi Saraj, Renby Reddy, and Jirat Shetty, India, part one. And here come our two pairs. It's going to be a tough ask today for Akira Kaiga, Koga and Taishi Saito. Shetty and Ranky Reddy, Commonwealth Games champions and Asian Championship gold medalists. The first pair from India to have been ranked inside the world top 10, as high as number four in the rankings. We'll see that in a moment, I'm sure. And they lead that head-to-head, 1-0, back at the Asian Championships. The one that the Indians won, straight games result. Well, the Indians, it appear, have won the coin toss and elected to change ends, so they'll start the match at the bottom of our screens with Taichi Saito, I think it is, to receive serve. And we can take a few moments to have a look at our two pairs in more detail. Akira Koga is 28 years of age, five foot five, short in stature from Fuoko in Japan. They have been ranked up at 17, but that was a little while back now. They are also ranked 23 on the world tour at the moment. This is his partner, Taichi Saito. Just five foot six, reasonably short in stature, these two guys. From Chiba in Tokyo in Japan. And at the tender age of 30. So no spring chickens, these two. Their opponents today. Satwik Sairaj Ranki Reddy, still just 22 years of age, seems to have been around the circuit a long time. Just around six foot in height from Andhra Pradesh in India. And the first pair from India to be ranked inside the world top 10. Ready, play. Great achievement for them. Reigning Asian Championship gold medalist, as I mentioned, Commonwealth Games gold. This is his partner, Shirag Shetty, who's uh, two or three years older, 25. Just about as tall at six foot, maybe six foot one. <laughs> Zhang Shi Ying from China is back on court, this time as our chair umpire. And she'll be supported by Trish Gubb from New Zealand as our service judge. So final preparations being made here. Miss Jiang from China will get this match going in just a few moments.
Shirachati, India. And on my left, Aka Koka and Kajong Daiko, Japan. Shirachati to serve to Akira Koka. So the World Championship bronze medalists, Shetty and Ranky Reddy will get the match underway. Shetty on serve, and Saito keen to return. Serve out wide from Akira Koga. Well read by Shetty. I've got a question for you, Steen. We were talking earlier quite a bit about junior badminton. I would say it's a great question. I'm not sure yet. We'll find out in a moment. Certainly the answer is great. It really uh, caught me by surprise last night. And whilst we've got a few moments, early stages of this match. Akira Koga, back in 2012. He's playing in the World Juniors, but first was playing in the Asian Junior Championships. And it's the final, Japan versus China. And Akira Koga played the opening match in the tie and beat Huang Yachiu and her partner in mixed doubles. Mm. They went on to win that Asian Championships mixed team event in the juniors. And later the same year, it's the World Juniors. Oh, big smash from Shetty. So later the same year, 2012 World Juniors mixed team event final against China once again. And Akira Koga this time is playing the final match in the tie. And they lost in a third game, 24-22, to Wang Yilu and Chen 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 in mixed doubles, which gave China the title. A very, very narrow defeat. Excruciating, my question to you, Steen, might be, who was Akira Koga's mixed doubles partner through both of those matches? Well, in, uh, in 2012? Yes. World Juniors. Was it the, the ones that were played on uh, home soil in, um, in Chiba? I think the first... Uh, ooh. I'm not sure. Quite possibly. Chiba is the age of um, Momota. So mixed doubles. Yeah. Partner for Akira Koga. They beat Huang Yachong in uh, the Asian Championships and they lost to Wang Yilu and Chen Ching Chen. 24 22 in the third, giving China the title, the World Juniors. Yeah. Who was his mixed doubles partner? Could have been Higashino. No. Nope. No? No, uh, um, Yamaguchi. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Akani Yamaguchi. And that was the part that really caught my eye. Wonderful work from Koga. Still lightning fast in that mid-court area. Yes, I wasn't even aware she played mixed back then, even as a junior. Good power from Saito yeah. this time. Five. Yeah, good start. Yeah. On the slower end of the court, finding the angles to hit through the Indians. It's 
Still searching for their first World Tour event title, these two, from Japan. Three times runner-up. All of them back in 2019. Seven, five. Great movement forward there oh. by Teichi Taito, forcing um, the Indians to lift. I'm not sure where these two rank, Steen, on the uh, men's doubles list for Japan. There must be a few places down. I think they're the second ranked um, Japanese are men's doubles pair. Are they as high as second? Yeah. Wow. Good angle created and Shetty quick to pounce on the net. and rank you ready playing style much better and is that because they like uh, fast court yeah they're uh, attacking mm. attacking playing style short lift from rank you ready Oh, it's in. Koga's judgment not quite there this time. And good control. So many we've seen have drifted long of that back line today. Chance to uh, Ten, come forward, Shirak Shetty. Well left. A good sign of uh, how much drift there is here Nine, alongside the court coming from. The Indian players towards Kogan Saito. Well, a very marginal lead of 11-10. The rallies look to be going the way of the Indian pair, but the Japanese pair of Saito and Koga hanging with them at the moment. Early stages in game one. 
さい。長く。日本の感覚を。長い、長い、長い。一回前。Shetty still on serve, 11-10. Can you see the Indians going all the way this week, Steen? I mean, they need to get through this one, <laughs> of course, first, but... Yeah. Let me check how many Indonesians are left. <laughs> <laughs> Doubles because they also like Seven, these playing conditions. 12, Good return of serve. Always oh, touch that. Many obstacles still ahead. Should they manage to win this, Shetty and Ricky ready. What is it he's saying? Thank you, Eddie. I can't, I, I'm trying to listen myself. I can't quite work it out. I'm not sure he knows himself. <laughs> Still can't uh, accept the fact that he's only 22. He, he seems to have looked 28 for the last six years. <laughs> Good control from Shetty, but also not the best service returns from um, Akira Koga. Look at that. It doesn't drop below the tape. No. Well, that's basically what you want to do. Well, here you could even push towards the corners. Vincent would have to block it. Oh it's, oh, it's gone long. What a shame. Looked to have had the Indians beat. With that reactive defensive relift. You saw Shetty moving forwards, tried to go over the top. Going to be a lot of battle between Shetty and uh, Koga in the front court, and um, I think for the Japanese it's necessary that um, Koga can um, at least play 50 50 with uh, Shirak Shetty. From Teacher's side to the cross 15. court drive there. <laughs> Good serve. Coming 
forward. Look how Saito comes forward after this uh, defensive shot here. Oh, yeah, really forced Ranky Reddy into a dilemma. Yeah. It could very well be the thing that provoked the error. <laughs> to say what a wonderful attack from the Indians but matched more than matched by Koga and Saito there were some terrific angles coming down from Nike ready towards the end Title. Yeah, they've got their noses in front. Well, that one's called in as well. Movement from Shetty, picking up the layoff from Ranky Reddy, moving forwards. I wonder if the Japanese pair is picking up on the fact that Shetty is looking more to work his way forward than work really hard from the backcourt. So whenever he has the lift on the backcourt, Japanese pair should move forward. There's going to be some opportunities. It's gone long. Two points required for Koga and Saito to take the opening game. Two points, they trail the Indians. <laughs> Terrific defense again. Boy, fantastic play. Optimal outcome of that defense there. How did they survive that? Wonderful. Well, incredibly, it's game point with Koga on serve. And somehow they're surviving the onslaught from yeah. Ranky Reddy and Shetty. They've scored eight of the last ten points, um, Koga and Saito. That's incredible. Saw the gap cross court. 
And calmly placed the shuttle, guided it back into the open space. A wonderful opening game for the Japanese pair of Akira Koga and Taichi Saito. Game one scoreline, 21 <laughs> So a wonderful result, a surprise oh. result, Steen, for game one in my eyes. I didn't expect them to uh, cope with that pressure so well. Well, they played the drift, which suits their game a little bit more. Um, but um, a strong comeback by the Japanese pair. We could hear that Matthias Ball was not entirely satisfied um, from one of the bits that we were able to hear of the full coaching, uh, he was saying uh, they've done it three or four One, times, so it's four. not luck anymore. We need to be ready to play one extra. We need to uh, be extra focused. I think perhaps, I'm not sure what he alluded to, but I think perhaps it's been the attack where the Japanese pair has been able to um, save some... Um, Good saves on uh, the, uh, the Indian attack. Um, yeah. Now, Shetty and Ranky Raider, they're going to have an easier time if they can get on the attack, if they can win the service situation, because the um, two Japanese players are going to have a much, much tougher time lifting with accuracy. Yeah. And that always normally means that you lift a bit too short, which uh, plays it into the hands of the two tall men in uh, in yellow here and then after you lift it too short you go to try and lift it really really high um, and it sails out the back <laughs> uh, not necessarily but uh, it just leaves a lot of time and and uh, both uh, Shetty and Ranky ready they are they're strong in the attack um, so I think the best idea for for Koga and Saito is to still um, try and play um, attacking if they can, even though it's perhaps not their preferred way of doing it against um, any other opponent. Shetty this time hitting down hard, still finds a way in, and the lift long. I don't think Kogan Saito is going to win it from the defense. I don't think so. 
Well, it was quite special at the uh, closing stages of the opening game. They'll have to do that all over again if they uh, if they do try. Five, one. And now we can see that I mean they played six rallies and I think they've had three mistakes on the uh, back line and a little bit confused. Service error from Ranky Reddy. Uh, look really high that service. <coughs> oh. Play. Service judge Trish Goff is uh, alert. She normally is. There's the big finish from the big man, Ranky Reddy. Done. Yeah. Seven, three. Expected power here. He just guided the shuttle into the open space. Sometimes it's hard to believe how much goes long. Um, both as the one playing it long, but also the ones that uh, have to leave them in court. At this level of the game, you'd expect them to be able to cope with the drift conditions a bit better than they are doing. Many of the players out here today. I guess practice builds those instincts that uh, at the last second, you don't have time to reconsider a lift, for example. Yeah, that's exactly the case. That if you're calm and under no pressure, then you can sort of uh, deliberately do it. But the moment you're a little bit off balance, under pressure, then you tend to fall back to uh, automatic reaction so to speak that's what you practice to be uh, automatic not having to think too much thinking is too slow yes oh string up that was extremely lucky for the indians there yeah they had the clash of rackets too i think that's an awful shot <laughs> it took that quite late tried to be deceptive And Koga snatches at one, right at the top of the frame. The sporting apology as the shuttle's fired into Ranky Reddy. On top of the net so fast. Oh. 
Well, six points the lead. The Indian pair off to a great start to game two. Well, unable to hear much of what was being said in the mid-game intervals, but I would guess Matthias Bow would be a bit happier at, uh, at this stage, Steve. Yeah. Well, potentially long and wide this one, but a challenge from Shirag Shetty. Just long. Charging and successful. One hundred remaining. Turn it over. Six, eleven, five. So if it does go to a third game, this is how the two pairs will line up at the end of that game. And What's the idea here, Steen, for the Japanese pair? What, what would they be aiming to try and do to get used to this side of the court? 12, six. Yeah. <laughs> That's a good question. Um, I don't think they have any other choice than to try and go on the attack, try and win the um, service situation. Uh, we heard in the first and the second game that Matthias Ball was um, suggesting a couple of flick serves. I must admit I haven't really paid enough attention to whether it's been successful for the Indians or they've used them. Um, but um, oh, we just need to have the court mobbed here. It's, it's just um, too difficult to to get by only using a uh, uh, flat game or deep defense is, is uh, more or less impossible from uh, the near side of the court here. You simply can't control it well enough. <laughs> and of course they hope to be in better shape than um, 11-6 or um, 11-7 at the interval. Yeah. Yes, they'd hope for a better start to the third game if, uh, if we go that far. 11-5, actually. Good attack again, channeled on to uh, Saito this time. There's that flick serve scene. Yeah. And it sort of keep the uh, Japanese pair honest. They can't, Koga here, he can't um, focus even more on the uh, low serve of the Indians. Got to respect the possibility of the flicker and gives them a worse chance to um, win the service situation. They did brilliantly here, though. Yeah. I don't like that hold by Shetty. It's not worked to his advantage many times. I think he's better off just taking the shuttle early. I think one of the things the Japanese should do here if they get the serve back is also to um, get the feeling of a couple of flick serves because otherwise 
if they don't have flick serves in their game, Shetty and Ranker Reddy are coming closer and closer and closer. Figuratively speaking, to the net, they're, they're focusing more and more and more on it. You don't, you don't have to move ahead of time, but as long as you can uh, sort of allocate 99.5% of your concentration on the low serve, yeah. then you're, you're doing fine. Another good flick serve. I guess it's slightly Nine, easier to six, flick eight. from that far side of the court yeah, into easier. the, yeah, facing the drift. Can really attack the rear corner. That's one of the situations that they have to exploit if they're not able to finish this in, in straight games. Koga and Saito, um, that, that it's, it's quite clear what Shetty and Renki Reddy are trying to do. So they've got to believe it, got to move on it. That's better from Shetty. Kept his wits about him this time. And none of the extraordinary defensive work that we saw in the opening game from the Japanese pair. Uh, but uh, it's alert by Ranky Reddy, as I think Matthias Bo alluded to. We, we need to be there. We need to follow up and make sure we make the most of um, our attacks. So the win rate when we get the attack, you've got to have that really, really high. You cannot allow the opponents to get extra chances to stay alive in the rallies. Wow. Good length, and Koga lets one slip through. Again, he was pushing forwards, Koga. Yeah. Usually, he'd stand his ground in the midcourt. Look where he hits it from. A racket short of the first double service line. Yeah. On the back court. Good play. That's what I would do if I were the Japanese playing this side. Yeah, I would play a lot of crosses, um, fast paced, flat. The crosses gives you more um, length to work with, so to speak, and it um, puts some uh, pressure on the movement on the two tall Indians. Seven game points now. Yeah, good net return. Fighting to keep their game two hopes alive. That's quite a big ask. Oh, that's a lovely shot from Ranky Reddy. Saito caught flat footed and deceptive from the tall Indian. A clean winner. And a great display in game two. A strong comeback from the Asian Championship gold medalists. 21 14, they take the second and force a third, a deciding game.
can we receive? And the other players is uh, the inactive player need to be more ready for the toes. That's rule number one. Okay. Every time we reset, you are on our toes. Okay. Our lift in the first set, they were actually good. Just that flat defense here, only 30%. Yeah. Only 30% straight, and then we chase. Yeah. And we serve a little too short, and then we cover. They're actually covering the arm. Nice trick. Can change it. Huh? Nikai, huh? Nikai. Sir, are they happy? Nice Nikai. Jembe Nikai. Sanjay. The last sir. Okay. Your higher might on the kick. Happy. I don't know. Cover. Cover. Not to me. I did lobber. I did no lobber. I didn't start no lobber. Happy. Jembe Hav. No, so is that, so is that, same, I think no, no long to leave. So Shetty and Ranky ready, a strong second game for them, led from the start, really. And Mateus Bo seems pretty happy this time, Steve. We, got, we caught a, a bit of what he was saying. Yeah, the uh, inactive player in the service situation must be more ready. And that means that, that right now Shetty must be super ready because he's most likely getting into action on the uh, fourth shot. Great defense, reactive from Saito. And I think it's very important that on the half chances, if they can find an open space on the front court, then just block it so they can get better chances. The flat game. Oh. Otherwise they're getting beaten by there's trying to force that half chance and it gets yeah there's a chance for missing. the japanese to exploit that mm. flat game there and play as flat as possible all the time they're quicker with the rackets and they're on the feet oh he's missed so there's an example of course it's so a little bit of an easy example there because it went long but had even had it been in there would have been um, a counter play from the japanese so it would have been much better to block it with a little flick below the tape yeah maybe shetty needed to come up and block the next one as well oh well left good coverage good rotation from the indians this time Koga and Saito again need to, well, they'll feel much better if they've got a comfortable lead at the mid-game interval, the change of ends. They were dismantled in game two when the Indians were at the top of the screen. Yeah, Coach Tan Kim Ho was still talking when the players were ready to play. That's one of the situations where they need to really follow up. Start all over. Finally found a way through, but how much hard work is it? Terrific defending from this Japanese pair. Look at that from Saito. 
on his knees and he's still competing. <laughs> yeah, see, I think Koga Koga. says, if you move your feet up or if you jump, then I can return it from below your feet. I think he took a whack to the ankle then from his partner. Well, there's Shetty, the inactive player on serve, Dean. Yeah, but it was not a good flicker. It's easy, uh, interceptable. It should basically make sure it has some height and it just basically needs to start it and then it's going to blow all the way to the uh, first doubles line by itself. Yeah, the receiver needs to move his feet, not just jump out, I guess. Korga needs to stop playing with the wildlife here in the arena. <laughs> Get on with the match. <laughs> That's great play by um, Thank You Ready and good follow up by Shetty. See that block there and then the follow up block from Shetty. One is not enough. Two might not be enough either. But a good tactic instead of the uh, powerful midcourt driving Four, rallies. Seven, yeah. Yeah. Six, five. Long, long. He seems a little bit nervous. Take your side to. forward by the Japanese pair. Oh. Well, they opened up the court with more of an angle this time. Just went over Saito. situations where I feel there's a lot of um, time to win overall that the players stay on court while there's mopping and um, shows the court officials where the sweat drops are yeah it's all over the place yeah, it's uh, humid conditions out here in Singapore. 30 degrees currently. And high levels of humidity. Good flick serve this time. Oh. What a save by Shetty. Oh. It's still going. Well, the moppers will be back. This Koga is all over the court. <laughs> oh, just. Well, an incredible rally. <laughs> what a dive from Koga.
Yeah, well left. Yeah, very important. The, um, are getting a feel for the um, backcourt play the way I see it, Shetty and Renke ready. Staying focused here, the Indians. And they worked that rally well. Cranky ready into the body of Koga. Back into the same man. Off balance. I think even at nine points, if they lose the next three, they'll be reasonably happy going into this change of ends. Yeah, but again, we must expect Kogan Saito also to come up with a better plan. Yeah, they'll need one. Ooh. That's where the layoff should be trying to compete with them in that mid-court drive. And say so the Japanese are winning 60, maybe 70% of those types of rallies. No complaints from Trish Gubb, our service judge. And an ace to take us to the mid-game interval and the change of ends. Saito with the variation. And two points, the gap. And so for a fifth time in five matches today, we get down to the final stretch. Change of ends in a deciding game. Advantage, India Steen, would you say, given the scoreline so so close? Yeah, I think so, given the way they won the second game. Oh. be interesting to see oh. how big a change of tactics or styles we see from the Japanese uh, look, pair. Well, here if we get the, this in slow look at where the Indian pair is standing in the defense. They were standing almost on the first service line, this service line here. Long, 
should have left it. Shirak Shetty. There's way, way too much pace on that one. Yeah. <laughs> that might have been blue carpet. That shuttle. Found his man, though. Better. Frankie ready playing shots that involve Shetty. Yeah, that's super important. Yeah. A challenge here. Or rather, it's unsighted. Yes, the umpire calling for Hawkeye's aid. It's the umpire's line, the short service line. She just wasn't sure. Oh, and it's in. Plum on the line. And. How many we sh shall we give her? The umpire has one challenge remaining, Steen, I think. <laughs> Good defence. And well left from Saito. Call player uh, at any given time, uh, whether it's Saito or Koga, cool there's a little bit too too close to the net. One foot further back, and there would be much, much more of a threat. And they have the attack. Yeah, good work from Shetty. He stayed low, he kept his racket high. But he didn't go for too much power here, Steen. He just kept controlling these shots down. Well, that's a couple of occasions where the Indian pair have come out on top of that mid-court battle. Forcing the Japanese to hit upwards. Yep. And again, no complaint from the service judge. A wonderful serve, Ranky ready this time. Did a good job, Ranky Reddy, of keeping his left arm still. A lot of players tend to lift it towards the end of the serve, and that's what they get called on, I suspect. Right. Flick serve again. Missed it, uh, Shetty, but then we saw some of Ranky Reddy's. Old mixed doubles skills, great mixed doubles player as well. Um, Shwini Punapa. So the ability from the mid-court area around tape level to play into the tape, into the front court area, super important. Oi! <laughs> He tumbled out of the way, Koga and Saito saved it. Look at this. <laughs> Volleyball deception. Yeah. 
And the net cord coming to the aid as well. So hope's still alive for Koga and Saito. Just one point they trail. Frankie Reddy and Shetty arguably on the preferred end of the court. And so will feel like they have a marginal advantage. Just creeping over the hour mark for this match. Fantastic uh, play by Shetty, who stayed in it, stayed alert. And Ranky Reddy showing some skills at the net this time. Well, I think Shetty, it's easier said than, um, than done. Totally unreturnable. Well, Shetty will be disappointed. It was a good smash. Lucky defense. And 17 all, why not? service situation um, little advantage perhaps to Koga and Saito because they're quicker on their feet and that's a little bit intimidating you would say the Indians have the better attack doesn't really matter no one is intent on lifting yeah Ranky ready for me gave away the attack a bit too easily then surely this time yes Good return of serve to start things off. Okay. Oh. 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 Shetty working hard. He's floored for a moment. It's gone wide. <laughs> Umpire asking for the line judge. Yeah. Who's a bit slow to react herself. Yeah. Look at that. Well, I think Indians are asking for something here. And cool spray on the finger. So we're waiting for the 
referee and possibly the doctor to come on court. Yeah, I think, I, think, I think this should stay a little bit closer when they can see a match is uh, getting close to the um, um, decisive rallies in the third game. Yeah, and here comes the medic. So 1918, a place in round two where Ren Sheng Yu and Tan Chiang await the winner of this one. Yeah. I, I have to say, the, I, I don't see the reason why the players are not bringing cool spray themselves and they can apply it. Otherwise, I mean, if they want the doctor's advice on whether to play on or not, then that's fair. But if it's just cool, ah, this is a uh, blood injury. Ah, yes. Yeah. He, was, he was also using the knee more than his foot in that rally, more or less. <laughs> <laughs> he was. He did spend an awful lot of time down low. So we'll let him off this time, Steen. Yeah, we we'll let him off this time. Uh, I just think that we've seen it so often that players, when it gets really close and they're not really uh, having momentum, then suddenly they ask for some cool spray. I saw one a fortnight ago in a game of singles where one of the players asked for a Hawkeye challenge. She was beaten with a smash, and the smash must have landed two feet inside the court. Yeah. But uh, they wanted a break. Yeah. You know, so... For me, that's slightly uh, taking the rules to another level. Back to the action. Koga on serve, 19-18 in the decider. Into the 67th minute of action here. Stays on the Indian side. And Koga pumped after the service return into the net. Shetty looks on in disbelief. Match point, Koga and Saito. Yeah. More in hope than judgment, perhaps. Well, a lifeline this would be. I wouldn't rule it out. <laughs> I wouldn't rule it out that it could be uh, catching just a like, part of the line. Well, Hawkeye to the rescue of Shirak Shetty and Sapik Sairaj Ranky ready. Or oh, it's long. Well it's long. well long in badminton terms. Koga and Saito fought hard throughout. Some terrific defending. And have scraped through. Fantastic match. An Excellent effort. Absolutely right. The racket skills and uh, the speed of movement and also a little bit of luck towards the end. There was a little bit of luck. But in my book, fully deserved. They played well and they've earned their place. 68 minutes it took. Koga and Saito through to round two in the men's doubles. So confirmation of that score will appear in a few moments. 21-18, 14-21, Seen and I are taking a break now and we'll pass you over to the very capable hands of Jill Clark and Chris Language.
So welcome back to the Singapore Indoor Stadium here. It's day two of competition at the Singapore Open. It's a Super 750 event on the HSBC BWF World Tour. Well, what a fabulous five matches we've just had. Look at that.